Well, now that we have a pretty comfortable awareness and understanding of the cycles of keys as they appear, it's time to add some new vocabulary. So I've been saying cycles. I'd like to replace that word with something called an octave. That's O-C-T-A-V-E. Do me a favor. Don't overpronounce this word. It's not octave, but it's octave, just a little more gently, octave. So what is an octave? Well, an octave is a complete cycle of seven naturals and, from wherever you begin, the repetition of the first or the reappearance of the first letter one cycle above. So as you think about this word octave, you're probably thinking, well, octa, just like octopus, for example, it's the root that means eight. So why do I keep saying a cycle of seven letters and then one more? Well, let's be more specific. It's a cycle of seven unique letters, that is different letters, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then the addition of the first letter repeated one cycle above, and that's letter number eight. So let's try that one more time. We're gonna start here. If you remember, this is C, and not only that, but this is C3. So C3, and I'm gonna count alphabetically until I reach C4. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is an octave from C3 to C4. Now, what exactly am I referring to when I say octave, or for that matter, when I refer to a cycle of letters? This is something called an interval in music. I-N-T-E-R-V-A-L, an interval. What's an interval? Well, as you can see, when we went from C3 to C4, remember, I was counting letters alphabetically. So an interval, actually is a fairly complicated concept in music, but it can be simply expressed for now as a measurement from a starting point to an ending point where you count the letters alphabetically and inclusively. That is, if I go from here to there, I don't, st I don't start counting like this. One. See, I'm starting here, so I have to start here and count this as one. So an interval, at least for now, is when you measure a distance from here to there, as an example, and you inclusively start counting with your first letter as one, and you move alphabetically until you reach your endpoint. So how do I express a measurement, right? The number of letters from C3 to C4. I start on C3, count as one, and proceed alphabetically until I reach my ending point. So the interval, from C3 to C4 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 letters, or an octave. Now, this measurement specifically is called an interval size. So the size, the interval size from C3 to C4 is 8, otherwise known as an octave. So let's practice that. Let's find a bunch of octaves on the piano. For example, here is F. Now this is within the fourth cycle, or now we can say the fourth octave, right? And so this is F4. Well, what's the interval from F4 down to F3? Well, that should be simple. It's the same letter, right? And it's one complete cycle apart, so the answer should be eight. Now for, this, for these purposes, we are not counting the black keys, all right? As far as interval size goes, we only count the white keys or the naturals. Remember, it's a measurement of the number of letters from your starting point to your ending point as you proceed and count alphabetically. So if I start here from F4 and I count down to F3 and I only count the white letters, the interval size is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or an octave. Let's try another one. Let's go all the way down here to, do you remember what this one is called? I'll give you a moment. A0. Let's go from A0 up an octave, or one complete cycle of seven letters, plus the reappearance of this first letter, one cycle above. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A1. Right? A0 to A1. This is also 
an octave or eight letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So again, to keep reiterating this because it's such important vocabulary, what is the interval size of A0 up to A1? The answer is eight. So remember, be very clear about this definition. Interval size is the measurement of the number of letters from your starting point to your ending point as you count the white keys inclusively. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it doesn't matter which way you go, either to the right or to the left, as long as you don't skip any letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can see it's an octave this way and it's an octave that way. It doesn't matter. Now, if we can count octaves, we certainly can try other sizes, right? Other measurements of the number of letters from our starting point to our ending point. For example, what if I start on C4, remember that's also called middle C, and I go up to F4? Well, how many letters is this? Well, that's easy. Remember, it's inclusive, so I count one, two, three, four. So what's the interval size of C up to F? The answer is four. Can you find a fourth above, which means to the right, a fourth above F4? Absolutely. We start here and we, and we count one, two, three, four going alphabetically. One, two, three, four. So what's the answer? A fourth above F4 is B4. All right, one, two, three, four. What's a fourth below B4? Well, just go the other way. One, two, three, four. So the answer is F4. So F4 to B4 is a fourth. Let's try something a little bit more challenging. How about a fifth, which just really means five letters, all alphabetically adjacent. So let's find G, G3. And I'm going to go down a fifth. Can you do this with me? What is a fifth below G3? One, two, three, four, five. Do you remember what this is? Well, this is one of our anchor points. This is C. Which C? C3. Now, I want to introduce one more term. I know there's, there's a lot, but remember how we talked about those cycles and we said that this is the first cycle C, C1, second cycle, second cycle C, C2, and so on, C3 and C4, all the way up to the top and C8. Let's replace that term cycle, as we did before, with octave. So, these numbers that attach themselves to all of the letters are called octave designations. Octave designations. So this cycle of seven letters, seven unique letters, falls within the first octave. So the octave designation for this octave is one. The octave designation here is two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then just the beginning of octave designation eight. So let me ask you one last question in closing because this is already a fairly long video. How many complete octaves are there on the keyboard? And by complete, I mean including all seven letters. Well, let's see. The first octave has all seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And by the way, if I were to ask you, just to review, what's the interval size from C1 through B1? The answer is seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So how many complete octaves are there on the keyboard? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven complete octaves on the full-size keyboard. How many incomplete octaves are there? Well, the eighth octave, starting on C8, only has one member, right? Just C. And the zero octave, as you remember, has only these two, A0 and B0. So there are seven complete octaves on the keyboard and two incomplete octaves. Which ones are those? The eighth octave at the top and the zero octave at the bottom with two letters.